Hooty who all my stock market gamblers. Welcome today. I'm Tall Mike. We made it to Friday. It's May 27th, the day before the big Memorial Day weekend. The stock market is up higher. The Dow Jones up about 100. The Nasdaq's up about 50. Now here's an interesting statistic. Okay, when you're going into a three-day weekend, Monday's a holiday, the day before the three-day weekend, which is today on the Friday, stock market on the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up about eight out of ten times. So going into the three-day weekend, it's very positive the day before. Now here's the thing. The day after the three-day weekend, which is Tuesday, the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrial average is down about seven out of ten times. So three-day weekends are kind of interesting. Day before, bet it higher. Day after, bet it lower. These are do not hold true a hundred percent, but it's just an interesting little statistic that I thought you might like. Now what I want to talk today about is bubbles. I want to talk about the real estate bubble. I want to talk about the stock market bubble. Now, how do I know that these are in bubbles? Well, first of all, I want to define some things. Okay, this here is a $100 bill. Okay, this is what is known as currency. Technically, it is not money. It is currency. Now, this here is a gold coin, a silver eagle. This is real money, real money, and this particular amount of gold is printed by our government, and it's worth $50, our government says. Actually, they sell for close to $2,000. Okay, so we got real money, and we got the fiat money, the currency. Real money, the fiat money. Now, I want to talk about how I know this. Let's start with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's in a bubble against real money. Okay, the ratio between a one ounce of gold to the Dow is running about 19 to 1 right now. Now, how do I know that's in a bubble? Well, the norm is about 8 to 1. We're at 19 to 1. So, eventually, we're going to come back down to the mean. We're going to get down to 8 to 1. But now, we've overshot to the upside. Typically, we also will overshoot to the downside. When it's all said and done, the Dow is going to be one-to-one -one with an ounce of gold. Okay, now can they continue to print money and keep the market propped up? Now, print money, they print fiat fiat money. They can't print real money. You cannot print gold. Okay, so they can keep printing fiat money and maybe the Dow goes up to 50000 But why I know we're in a bubble is because to real money, it's going to become one to one. So does gold get to 50000 Maybe, maybe it does. A lot of people are calling for that. Or does the Dow come down to where gold is? Now, I don't think the Dow is coming down to 2000 I do not. I don't, it could, yes, it could, but I do not think it's coming that low. Maybe it comes down to 10000 Maybe it gets down to 5000 And maybe that's where gold meets the Dow at one to one. Now, will they just keep printing money to send the Dow higher, the real estate market higher? Well, the Federal Reserve has kind of painted themselves into a corner. We have inflation now. Now, the government is admitting that we have about 4% inflation right now. But me and you, we know it's at least, at least 10% inflation. Now, the more money they print, the higher the inflation is going to go because it expands the money supply and prices will continue to go up. And they could print us into hyperinflation, which would pretty much be the end of fiat money. This, you might as well just use it for toilet paper. Isn't that crazy how they can destroy this? but they can never destroy real money. Real money's been around for 5,000 years. So yes, I think the Dow Jones Industrial Average is inflated at least 100% over where it should actually be. And do I think it's going to come down? Well, when I say we're going to pop the bubble, we're going to pop the bubble compared to gold. Okay, now gold can move up can move up to 50,000 and meet the Dow at 50,000. Wouldn't that be wild? That'd be about a 25 times move on gold. And it could happen. The probability of that is not zero. It's probably closer to 20%. Okay, now the, what's the probability of the Dow going down to 2,000? 
Well, it's not zero, but that's probably less than 10%. And I believe they will meet somewhere in between. Okay, so we have the Dow in a bubble. No matter what metric you use, you can use Warren Buffett's metric. You can use the price to gold ratio, Dow to gold ratio. It's at least 100% overvalued at this point. Now, is it going to come down tomorrow? Will this happen overnight? I doubt it. It's going to take time. But over time, mark my words, they're going to become one-to-one -one with gold. One ounce of gold will equal the Dow Jones Industrial Average. All right, so I want to move on to the housing market. Now, how do I know that the housing market is overvalued? Well, I want to talk about silver. Okay, this is a one ounce silver eagle. Okay, once again, minted by our government and they say it's worth a dollar. Now, silver has held its purchasing power over time. I'm old enough to remember when gasoline was 25 cents a gallon. Okay, now if you take a quarter today that was made out of silver, gasoline is still 25 cents a gallon because that quarter is worth about four dollars and that's about what I'm paying for gasoline. Silver maintains its purchasing power. Okay, so in around 1980 it would take 800 ounces of silver to buy the average home in the United States. The average home was selling for around 40,000. Silver was trading around $50 in 1980. Okay, 40,000 for your average home and $50 for an ounce of silver. Now what's happened to the silver since 1980? Well, it's done nothing but come down. Okay, so basically let's say the real spot price of silver is about $28, almost half off from its 1980 price price. This is why I know silver is probably the cheapest commodity on planet earth right now. I do recommend buying some physical silver, putting it away. I recommend getting at least 500 ounces. Now why do I say 500 ounces? I believe that 500 ounces of silver, you will be able to trade that for the average price home in the United States. Now, okay, I recommend Eagles. And we're just going to use a rough number. These sell for about, oh, let's call it $40, about a $12 premium over silver. But I would get the Eagles because they're recognized around the world and they're easy to barter with, easy to trade with. Okay, so if you bought 500 of these, for $40, that'd be about $20,000. Now, is where can you buy a house today for $20,000? Well, you cannot. You cannot, right? The average home in the United States right now is trading above $340,000. Okay, so $340,000 were 800 of these you would used to be able to trade for that, right? 800 of these. So I know, let's say we had 800 of these and let's say that it was $40 a piece. Okay, 800 at 40, I, I, let's do the math here, 16, $32,000 and yet the average home, let's use rough number, that they say 340, we're going to say 320. So $32,000 of silver, you used to be able to trade for that average home, which is now $320,000. Once again, that would mean these would have to go up 20 times, 20 times to meet the home price at $340,000. Now, is the home price going to stay at $340,000? Is it going to double from here? Is it going to pull back to, well, $32,000? I now. I do not think it's going to pull back to $32,000. I do not believe, is that possible? Yes, physically it's possible. But what I believe is the price of silver is going to go up and it's going to meet the home price somewhere. Now you're going to call me crazy here, but I think silver can get to $500 an ounce. $500 an ounce. Now, what is that from here? That's 20 times where it's trading today. It's trading today $25 an ounce. I'm using rough numbers. I'm using rough numbers, actually 28. So, okay, so can silver get to $500 an ounce? And you get take 800 of these, that would be 400,000. And maybe houses go up to 400,000 for the average price home in the United States. And that's where they meet. But what I'm telling you is both 
the real estate and the stock market are both in bubbles and they're in bubbles meaning that they're 20 times these are going to move 20 times or or we're going to have this big crash in the stock market to bring them down to these levels and we're going to have a big crash in the housing market to get down to these levels okay so that's how i know that we are in a bubble and eventually eventually not tomorrow not next week but eventually it will come back to normal and now normal it will overshoot to the downside and these will be the dow will become one to one one to one with an ounce of gold houses will become well at least 800 to one for the average i think it's actually going to come down to 500 ounces of this is going to get you to buy the average price home in the u.s now i'm a real estate broker in full disclosure okay so would i recommend buying a house at this level is an investment now you need a place to live you know, i'm not saying go out and sell your principal residence but would i buy a house right now at today's value as an investment or would i put that money into silver oh that that one's a no-brainer i i think you know the answer for what i'd say right i mean that's a no-brainer well that's all i wanted to talk about today you know have a great memorial day weekend you know, if you like this stuff, give me the thumbs up. It helps me out. I don't know. It gets more people to watch. I like it when more people watch. Right now, it's just me and you watching. But anyways, if you really like this stuff, hit that subscribe button so we can talk next week after Memorial Day weekend. We'll see if the market actually goes down on Tuesday. Seven out of ten times after the long weekend, the market is down on the following Tuesday. I'm Tom Mike. Have a great weekend. I hope we talk again soon. Hit that thumbs up and we'll talk real soon. Bye-bye now.